internet and happy Matariki! Matariki is often called the Maori New Year. It marks the time when the Matariki star cluster rises back over the horizon. Falling in the middle of winter, it's similar to the old Northern Hemisphere midwinter celebrations. That quiet time when the harvests have all been gathered and it's too early to start planting, so it's time to gather with family around the fire and light up the darkness a bit. Traditionally, it's a time for learning, for entertainment, and to honour the dead, who are believed to have turned into stars shining down from the sky. In modern Aotearoa, Matariki has been revived in recent years to fill a need we've always had for a midwinter celebration. Because we're in the Southern Hemisphere, all the traditional European celebrations like Christmas and New Year's fall in our summer when feasting on heavy winter foods isn't as attractive. So Matariki is more and more being marked by winter feasts, friends and family coming together, and displays of lights and fireworks as a modern interpretation of the twinkling Matariki stars. And from next year, we even get a new public holiday to mark Matariki, giving us our own uniquely New Zealand winter holiday. Christchurch is celebrating this year with a display of light installations around the city centre called Te Rama Mai, which means to bring light. It's on until the 10th of July and there are special performances on some nights as well. So if you're in Christchurch, pop into town and have a look. I hope you enjoyed seeing the lights of Christchurch and that you're having a wonderful Matariki. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Matawa internet!